Welcome to this Valorant Crest presentation. That's right, a Brick CBK going to be your host, and we have a five versus five action. Players of the best and top tier caliber are competing for the grand finals of no money on the line, but it's all about that pride, baby. It's all about that pride, and really, who has the biggest dick? Let's be honest. No, excited to be here. We got offense versus defense. We got Vesta Bells. Blizz, Milk Fat, Waza, Muffins, and Ace Jr. going up against Diva, Milk Fat 2.0. I don't even know who that is. Burrow, Mad Fred, and Idager. So we're kicking things off here. In the mid, we have a Raze player being played by Waza currently. The UI is a little buggy there, so bear with me as I uh, as I work with the shitty UI that they give us here as a spectator. Raze throwing out her nades, of course, stopping the mid pressure. Mid is going to be the play on this map. It's all about that mid play. Send out the boom hop, baby. Yeah, it's going to be destroyed pretty quickly, but at least getting that information. Sage making her way over as well from the right. That's Ace JR. I hear he's got a mean ass shot. Hits those heads always. We'll see if that's going to come into play here. No A action. Going to be had for the time being. Meanwhile, Brimstone in the B side. He gets a headshot. Plus, Milkfat takes out Milkfat 2.0 as counterpart as he's being chased down by Cypher. Madfred cannot run him down, but finally finds the angle on him. Ace JR from heaven. Going to scare off Madfred, or maybe not so much. Maybe going to heal himself here as he has taken some damage, but they're making the way from that mid. He knows it. He is going to throw the heal on himself, but can he make a headshot happen? No, he cannot. Burrow. Lands it as Omen, so it's a three versus four, favoring the defense currently, aka the red team. Vesta Bell is going to have to make her way over as Waza leading the way. Some raise on raise action coming up soon, but the four players in the side. Now we're making three players, never mind. Two versus three now. See Delicious with the pickoff right there. He's going to lose his teammate though. Vesta Bell's going down one versus three. It's nearly unwinnable, and uh, well, never mind. He was on defense. That makes a lot more sense. Muffins gets killed despite getting the entry frag himself. Good start there for the offense, AKA the red team. So I had a backwards there, didn't I? Yes, it's a little confusing. You would think, I don't know, you would think the green is offense and red's defense, I don't know. Anyways, one nothing start for the red team. So the slow play makes sense on this map. Uh, I believe uh, this is split, right? I'm actually <laughs> blanking on the map name. Anyways, the point is, uh, mid play is where we expect to see the, a lot of the action. This is one of the more condensed, I believe the most condensed map. Uh, maybe Bind is also pretty condensed, but at least you have the portals to work with. But yeah, mid play, expecting to see it. It's speaking of that Burrow as open. He rushes out with that Bulldog. He cannot find the kill, though. The nade's coming in from Waza and instead takes him out. So, a good start. For the green, aka blue tip. What do we call them? Blue or green? I'm gonna call them green. That's a more of a greenish color, I wanna say. Anyways, green team up five versus four now. So can they can they get a thrifty? Can they make the eco round happen? That's what we're gonna find out. Mad Fred is Cypher. Cypher on offense, of course, not as powerful as he on, is on defense with those tripwires and cameras, but a good cypher player, and I've heard many things about Mad Fred. I won't say if they're good or bad, but Using those cameras and uh, tripwires. Okay, that was pretty good right there. Idager getting the kill, but still at least an assist from Mad Fred. And meanwhile, planting on the site in B, you got a wraparound from uh, from Legolas. I call him Legolas. I honestly don't even know his actual name. I think it's Sora, but it, let's be honest. Legolas is a lot better. Uh, Legolas making his way over, aka Vestibule's Planet Muffins also. Gonna be joining the party, but two versus four. This is nearly a possible retake. Making a one versus four, however. Good trade right there, but Vesta Bells with only the handgun is not gonna get much further. So two nothing start. Despite losing a player early on in the round. Alas. They come back anyways. And they win the round outright. So by situation. Looks like guns uh, certainly going to be bought on both sides. Saving up a bit of SMGs on the red side, so we'll see if that comes to fight them in the ass or not. They're going to sit on their econ instead. No, no upgrades this round. Meanwhile, looking through the utility, that's also to be had. No wall from HJR, despite playing Sage. So HJR uh, getting a little greedy there. Really one of the Vanguard. He actually could no, he couldn't have. Yeah, he could have bought the Guardian and then gotten the wall. Well, only has 100 credits left, so we'll see if. Uh, that comes back to, to backfire, but B play is going to be where it's once again. You see Milk Fat already throwing down those smoke grenades. However, they have worn off now. He has another one. Also, has a couple of stim packs. That's kind of interesting because uh, I've, I've been seeing uh, uh, 
I've had the chance to cast a couple of these uh, higher tier games, no offense, but um, <laughs> in these tournaments here, and uh, talking with other, okay, this is a high tier game apparently, what a shot by Milkfat, uh, no, but the stim packs, apparently a lot of Brimstone players seem to pass on buying two stim packs, let alone even one a lot of the time, they almost think it's just, uh, there's never really great situations to use it, but Milkfat, he know, we know he has the shot at least, but Gonna smoke it off once again, so apparently he's able to hold down B by himself. And you do see that mini-map there in the top left corner of your screen. Rotations are being made. Omen, Muffins, he's gonna have some action shortly. You got Legolas nearby as well with that Vandal. Her angle, she's gonna get some action. Shortly lands the headshot! Ida Jared doing the peekaboo and two more go down. That wasn't the play, ladies and gentlemen. Mad Fred's like, wait a second. My team is dead. I'm just going to sit here and uh, save my gun. That's a, that's a smart play, ladies and gentlemen. Smart plays being had. So, yeah, you see he has the camera over there on the A side. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's good discipline, honestly. You'll see a lot of the time players getting antsy, wanting to push up despite not getting action at that A side. But to their credit, they held their ground. Muffins and Vestibels holding their ground and... They easily win the round. Of course, that started off with Milk Fat hitting that headshot in the B site as Brimstone. So let's make it two to one. Like I said, he had the red team sitting on those SMGs last round. Obviously, those long range battles, the rifles uh, definitely an advantage when it comes to it. Mad Fred looking to set up some trip wires. We'll see where he cameras this time. No camera down yet. Let's go there. Gonna put one here towards mid. Gonna get the trap down. Let's put a couple of trip wires there, apparently. There's another one on the trap. All right, everything's up. Good old Cypher setup. Wow, Sage getting aggressive in the mid. Got that smoke assistance from uh, Milk Fat there, looks like, but no, uh, no mid play this time around. At least no aggressive mid play coming out from the red side. Insisting on playing it a bit slower. All the omens checking out Burrow. We know what happened last time. He's got a shoddy. Interesting. I guess he bought a rifle last round. Yeah, the buy is kind of an interesting buy here from our red side. As uh, already one player down. That's Mad Fred. Cypher gets picked off towards B. Milkfat landing another shot. I see why they, they leave Milkfat alone now on this B site. Only hits his heads. Oh, in that smoke. That was in the... Not sure what the... Oh, that was at the... The drone, that makes more sense. <laughs> went, to, went to the vision of S down. I was like, wait, what the hell's going on? <coughs> going through the omen smoke right there. We only have 30 seconds, so you gotta make a play soon if you're ready. I understand these bullets are flying at you and it's hard sometimes, but you gotta make the decision sooner or later. And we're gonna see a global teleport. Bro, going deep into the B site near spawn. He's gonna sit here with a shoddy, and they are going in, but Milk Bat once again with the hold. Hits two kills. Guess make it three kills. Let's go for the quad. No, Idajur will finally stop the demon that is and slow him down. Idajur gets another kill in the side, actually, but Idajur. Can he get the plant off at least for the money? Yes. He got the plant. And that's important. I, I want to say that's 300 more credits for everyone, if I'm not mistaken, as well as an ulti charge for Sage herself. So. Uh, granted, I think she might have had her ultimate anyways, but point is, if you're gonna lose a round like that, at least get, uh, get the plant down, of course. Speaking of ultimate status, let's take a glance on over there. Brimstone has that orbital strike ready to go. You have, uh, Waza, of course, uh, with everyone's... Rocket Ultimate, the showstopper as it's called. Just simply outplay it. That's all you need to do. On the other side, Idager. God, the spectating of this game is so difficult right now. Um, anyways, Idager has got uh, Resurrection, of course, and Diva does have that showstopper as well. Looks like we're going to see a B rush here. They're, 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 they're tired of Milk Fat. They're like, all right, Milk Fat, you're hitting too many headshots. We're playing too slow. They're going to go fast. You see, smokes are down. Cypher leading the way, though. But they're letting the smoke deter them. They're gonna, Molly. they're gonna keep playing this. Molly's going now. That might do some damage. Yes, Sage is burning. She'll survive though. Heals herself up, so at least gets a cooldown use there. Already seen rotations from HJR coming over. Here comes the smoke. Fire in the hole, right in the face of Milkfat. That's one way to do it. Sage also picked off in heaven by Diva. What an entry fragger that was. They some call him Get Right. I heard. 
Attitude will we'll get that bomb plant. This is going to be a very difficult retake, of course. Muffins. It's a three versus five. He has to get through a wall right here. He's going to try to shoddy blast his way through. So he gets through it, but it's now very obvious where he is. But look at this Waza! He gets a couple of kills. All of a sudden, it's down to Cypher. Cypher, the last man standing, lets me nobody's standing anymore. It's a two versus nobody. They're going to defuse the bomb in a 3 2 lead now for the green team. What a retake. A three versus five after the beautiful entry fragging from D.Va. Something tells me he ain't too happy with his team right now. And once again, the ulti status. Brimstone still with that orbital strike. Of course, it got killed early last round. No chance to use it. Vesta has her Hunter's Fury. We'll see if that comes into play. Of course, on the other side of the Resurrection, as we know, and Jet has hers, the Daggers. You know, what I've seen some Jet players do, too, yeah, SMG being Bob and Milk right here. Honestly, we'll see Jet players not even buy a gun when they have their ultimate ready and literally just activate it. But, okay, here you go. That's So, he bought the gun, but still, this is Milk Fat 2.0. Can he land the headshot? Nobody? Okay, Brimstone's to the left, as you see on the minimap right there. Prepare for hellfire! Oh my god, there is free cam! Holy shit! I didn't know that. I... There's free cam! Alright, let's try with this view. Anyways, Sage Astar with a couple of picks, just lining them up, gets three! Let's go to her vision! Three kills, a hat trick coming out. Are we gonna see a quad kill? Yes, we are. Go for the ace, baby! No, Mad Fred will finally stop the danger man himself. However, Muffins cleans it up to finish the round. Ace JR just strafing back and forth. And finding four kills in that round. Look at that. He's 5, 4, and 3 right now. So quick NA math. He was 1, 4, and 3 before that round. Or 1, 3, and 3, I guess. Anyways, you get the point. An important and good round for Ace JR on the Sage. So Jet's uh, dagger is not necessarily coming into play of the previous round. Blade Storm, as they appropriately call it. I think Red's had enough of that B play. Let's go A, they say. So now Muffins and Vesta can have some action soon. They get the vision. The shoddy blast gets one. However, the second not going to happen. Did Vesta just kill his teammate? Yep. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to go back to Vesta right there. God, the, the switching back is difficult sometimes. Anyways. Okay, well, kill the teammate, but also got a couple more kills, and they win the round. So, <laughs> yeah, that was the ultimate, wasn't it? So she used her Hunter's Fury, <laughs> got caught in that. But hey, they win the round, 5-2 lead now for the green team. Oh, that's great, so there is a free cam. All right, I'll try to make more use of that. But yeah, switching between the players, so the number at the top of the beginning of the round is fine because you got, so Ray's on the left is one, then you have Sage is two, uh, Legolas is three, so, so it goes one through zero, or one through nine, one through zero. But then after people start dying, it condenses and then it gets all fucked up, so. Um, that's why it's tough sometimes to find uh, who I want to go to. Waza off the bat, picking off mid, by the way, Burrow. We've seen that a couple of times now, Burrow getting a little heisty. Heisty? Heisty? heisty. In that mid, however, speaking of getting hasty, Muffins and Waza more so. I know exactly getting hasty, he gets taken out. Diva, nice peek shot there. Killing his wife, how rude. Ace, He's gonna go down the ropes. That was a very obvious play, though. All right, I should say uh, Diva definitely heard that. He's gonna play patient for now. Doesn't know if it was up or down. Brimstone, though, coming to the A site. Or as they they are taking over the A site. Excuse me. Uh, Milk fat nearby. They got a res off. Looks like Wazo was resurrected. Now running over. Can they retake this? Three versus three. Get the rocket. Did it get a kill? Yes, yeah, Diva gets the kill on Ace JR. It's up to Brimstone now, though. Milk Fat by himself. One versus three all of a sudden. No more orbital strike. Uh, no! He got a couple of hits in, but couldn't finish the job. Uh oh. Being collapsed on. He knows it. The quick flick! Oh, Diva takes the kill, though. And we get the slow mo bullet time there, baby. 5-3 lead, still in favor of the green team, but finally, take a look at the middle of your screen yeah, right there. That Thanks. was five wins in a row. Now stopped. 
Someone meant to be built back up from the red side. And it's rifles for everyone. Do we have an op? Oh, after Legends of this AWP in the hands of Blizz Milkfat, or I guess Operator, as it's uh, called in Valorant. We'll see if the, ta the tales are true. Smoke's down. Smoke's coming out initially. Might get a chance on Jet. As Milkfat 2.0 is counterpart. Looking to peek soon. Bomb is all the way at the A side by himself. By the way, that's Diva with that bomb. Milkfat has been playing very passive though, so Jet's uh, gonna try to get him peeking here, but as we see, that ain't happening. He is sitting comfortably back with that operator. When you gonna peek? Oh, kill. Waza gets taken out over there. It's Diva's just making plays. Idajir also finds a mid kill. And oh, the op shot miss. As soon as we go away, go figure. Jet manages to find the pick. Working in mid now. Muffin's holding that. He knows the bomb carries here. Somebody's here. Meanwhile, yeah, Vesta, she's gonna have some action shortly. The shot, Diva knew the whole time, though. Gets the corner peek, gets the kill. Vestibels was able to pick up one in the rope room. What a one versus four now. Probably best off saving if he can. 20 seconds remaining. Is going to get a headshot on Milkfat 2.0, so... May build up her confidence. Heard the rope. Knows somebody's there. Omen. He's the gun, the headshot. Now it's a winnable situation. Can he get Diva? Can she, excuse me, get Diva? Get a reveal, however, cannot see. Mad Fred's making his way from a lobby. Oh, Vesta gets the shock down kill. One versus one. Are we going to see an ace? No way to win it. Cypher, no utility. He ha she has another shock down. She also has her ultimate. No. Oh, Cypher with the peak. Mad Fred finds the kill. And we'll stop the ace comeback in the round. Oh, that was history in the making right there. Still, well played. So our score is now five to four. We'll favor the green team. Muffins likes his shotguns. Notice that. The judge. I haven't used much of the judge myself. He also has this global port, so let's see if that comes into play here. Puts out the smoke on Diva. Meanwhile, finds yet another rocket kill, showing that uh, sometimes it's hard to outplay that rocket, aka all the time. The Milkfat versus Milkfat 2.0 battle continues over in the B site. Jets falling back for now, though. The mid play—they're going a very slow mid. It is the red side, but they're working towards B now. You see the green team; they're starting to rotate over, but. Gonna have to make a move quick, so it's gonna be up to Milkfat. He sees heaven, he goes there, he gets a headshot initially. Cannot land a second though, so hey, you know what? Taking a, a one kill right there, that's all you can expect out of him. I mean that in a good way, by the way. One versus five, getting a kill, you'll take it. Uh-oh. Is that Waz? Oh no. Waz, did he miss the rocket? It doesn't look like he got a kill. Muffins finds the trade there, however. Is he going to teleport somewhere? Oh, he's being shot! I <laughs> had no clue! Heidinger is killing him while he's trying to global teleport, so he uses the cooldown. Oh, no. That's awkward. So he uses the charges uh, more so, and yeah, it's back to step one of that charge. Of the ultimate. Got a five versus... Uh, five to five, even. Is now our score. Ultimate status. Idajur has that resurrection ready. Milkfat 2.0, we'll see. Goes for the immediate daggers once again, just like he did before. Milkfat gets his hands on the operator. Stay Last time, he lost the, the war. We'll see about this time around. Waza, meanwhile, gets Burrow. Pushing up there. The smokes, that smoke eventually gonna wear out. Couple more coming down, just gonna molly on through. She does have the knives active. Nowhere to run! Nowhere to run. He finds a kill. The op shot misses. 
Jade's. Are you doing? Oh! <laughs> wow, got one dagger hit. Oh, milk fat 2.0. Apparently the upgrade there. Meanwhile, Waza. Here's footsteps. Trying to protect A. They're going to make their way up a ramp. Into tower, go to mid. Oh, this is a cheeky play. Sneaky beaky. It's now a two versus two. Making a two versus one. Waza eventually gets mad for going to the side. However, the, the rope play, Diva was there the whole time. We got some raise on raise action. Diva does have the rocket ready. They try to go for the headshot. He can't land it, though. Choosing not to go for the rocket play, and Waza wins the gun war. Diva, 18 kills. Talk about trying to carry. Holy crap. I was going to say, I feel like he's already used three rockets and he has another one. So, yeah. Diva's uh, definitely doing his best carry attempt. Let me see the step it up. Let's go. Look at the aggressive mid play being set up. Ace JR with the wall. Oh, we're gonna go for the slow instead initially. No wall yet. Got information of Cypher, or Omen, excuse me, over there in the A site. Oh, very slow mid play, though, from the red team this time. Diva peeking out. Diva's got a rocket. Oh, going for the jump play. But can't try to run them down. <laughs> you see, they know it's coming. The grenade's going out. The rocket finally hits. So Waza gets taken out, but Ace JR with a quick response. You're happy about that if you're the green team, no doubt. However, not so happy anymore. Ace JR gets killed off. Is this going to be. Oh, yeah, he is opening up the sky, baby. Let there be fire! Idager gets taken out as a result. Now a three versus three. And Blizz Milkfat able to take out Milkfat 2.0. So the back and forth continues over Something. there. Vesta, meanwhile, finds Cypher. Can't land the initial shot, though. Matt Fred, able to run away for now, backing on up. Smoke coming in. Here goes the peak from Vesta. Lands a shot. Gets the kill. Spike is, excuse me, Spike is down. Burrow, he's got global TP. Where, where is he going with it? All right, so he went over towards heaven. Gets milk fat. He's gonna have action. No, oh, he went too quick. 7 5 will be our first half. Favoring the green side. A solid first half. A uh, pretty close one, of course. Uh, Devalicious. Well, like, Killalicious or, or something. Oh, that, was, that was stupid. Well, yeah, 19 8 and 4 stat line. Not too shabby. On the green team, definitely a bit more spread out. But as mentioned, so this is where Cypher definitely uh, a bit more useful. Uh, on the defensive side, so Mad Fred looking out to see what, uh, what he could bring to the table. With those traps, it looks like they're going to send Cypher A side. A lot of Cypher players I've seen locked down more of the B site than the A site because uh, the B site, there really is that one angle. They can only come through garage, right? Where obviously you usually have mid protected, but. A side could be a little more options going up the ramp. Burrow, though, off the bat, For finds you. a kill. And they put the wall up to stop the garage push. So immediately the red team turning around. And going to head all the way over to A. So Madfred will indeed get his chance. I want to check the can. Does it, like, jump to the closest player? No, not really. Yeah. Bot is out, but so they rotated all the way to A. Now they're con they're walking back to B. So the red team definitely using the time in this round to really keep them guessing what's going on. They'll give Idajir the orb in the mid, get more of those resurrection charges. But the B play is coming, so it's going to be Burrow. Oh, oh, he needs to get his gun out soon. There you go. Has the sheriff? Can he hit the headshot? I think he needs to aim a little higher. There you go. Okay. Let's see how quick you are. Oh, no, the flicks. He hit one, not a headshot though. Down to 22, has to fall back, but AceJR running him down. Taking over the side. Waza wins the gun war against Adager. Four versus three. Retake, once again, gonna be difficult. 
Mad Frag gonna be coming over from spawn. Devalicious! Able to get an entry frag. Ace JR though picks up Milk Bat 2.0, and Diva sitting there in that garage. Nate's coming out. Eh, out of range though. Of the Sage Flare. And Diva will get picked up by Waza, so the better raise there. Meanwhile, where's Cypher? There we go. Mad Freddy's gonna go to around to heaven. Got a pistol, no point to save. Just go for the big plays, baby. I have trust. That's a trap. Ugh. Knew somebody was there. Gets Waza killed. Gets the ice wall, gets a second. Here we go. It saves the pressures on. Madfred wins. Madfred, we had trust on a log and it comes through. What a retake there from Madfred. Cypher is not a agent either that you would really think is going to, especially using no utility. Just simply relying on that gunplay. And makes it work. It's a buy situation. The SMG is coming out. Devalicious uh, liking the Bulldog play. I, I'm kind of off and on about the Bulldog. Bulldog is it's a nice kind of save gun. Usually in a round after winning the first round, I would just buy the SMG, the Spectre. A couple of shotties though now. Milk by 2.0 and Burrow. Oh wow, they're going heavy B. A lot of smokes down. Here we go. Brimstone getting the down. Waldo blocks off the support. Diva got in, but not the rest. And that's Waz, excuse me. And Waz gets killed, so the rest are trying to take it out. But Diva throws an aid and Bismuth but goes down. They gets the kill on Muffins. Oh no. It's falling apart. What a wall there. By Eidager at the last second, completely caught them off guard. It really spread them out. And they just went full fledged panic mode. For you. Diva's rotating over. As that bulldog is mentioned, it's feeling pretty obvious that this is where they're going. So it's Vesta as well as uh, Ace JR. Ace does have a wall, but. Not really a lot uh, to expect from that. Two versus five. They only have pistols, though, so you're really not looking to save either. Gotta take away their guns, if anything. They're going in. They, they get the. Oh! <laughs> Was that a one tap? That sounded like a one tap. This is a high skill level game. Diva, 24, 9, and 4. He must know that I'm casting him. He's like, oh shit, Bricky's casting. I gotta look good now. Because he sure wasn't playing like this when I was playing with him. Mid play. Yeah, peeking. Ray's pushing up. That's Diva. It's gonna throw the nade in. Nope, hit the box. Wall play from Sage, but Diva's like, thank you very much for showing me your head. Well, Milk Bass charging with some teammates, so they're trying to take over the B side. That's a fire in the hole. Rocket's coming. Goner. I believe that's Diva with the rocket active. Milk Bass in trouble. Oh, it missed! <laughs> it actually missed. Gonna hide in the omen smoke. Will he get a chance? <gasps> he knows he's right there. Go, go, go. No, where'd he go? No, oh, <laughs> I can't blame him for trying. So Vesta with the bomb, one versus four. She does have a what is that? A vandal? I I, I think you definitely look to save your, your Vesta. We'll see if she does or not. <clears throat> And the economy is pretty healthy for the team overall. So yeah, look at that. Trying to save this, you know, to force by next round would be nice. But uh, yeah, she is. You know what? I said that last time, and she almost came back in a one versus five. So, fuck it, go for it, best up. Okay, no, you should have saved. No more charges left. Eight to seven. We got a game, ladies and gentlemen. Really turning out to be something, so 
Oh, the, so the economy numbers were bugged. That makes more sense, actually. So yeah, they don't have as much money as they initially thought on the red side. So yeah, even more reason why it would have been good to save there, but... Um... Coward. They haven't really worked A early, so something... I, w I wonder if they're going to try to go to the A, but... Diva's not going to have too much action in the mid. That is pretty cool, by the way, how it shows you each player's crosshair, their unique crosshair. But it's kind of... It's interesting to look through and see what people use. Oh, now they're going mid, though. Oh, that's a big nade. That one hurt. Well, so this is going to go for a repeat. Only as expected, though. So, yeah, Hats Bolt's coming in. Ain't worth it. SMG's not going to win that duel. Well, looks like the A side might be getting some action finally. Mad Fred. This whole thing, I think this camera was destroyed. HGR goes down, but quick response kill there from Vesta. Here's the footsteps. Waja charging in like a reckless wild man. Oh, they're going up, actually. They're going up to heaven. A lot of nades. <laughs> Both sides throwing those nades. Adager following. Diva, he's peeking around. He's no, nope, he finds a flank. Waza gets picked off. However, the pick for Vesta, she finds one manager, but a lot of response skills back and forth. So Diva's gonna sit on the bomb. Omen's coming from my. I heard the ropes. He knows he's there 100%. Burrow though finds him first, and it's just Milk Fat. Milk Fat has that shoddy in hand. If Diva peeks around the corner, boom, shakalaka. I had to. But two seconds remaining, so found the kill. We'll take the gun, never mind. Burrow will find him instead. So cannot save the gun. 9 7 will be our score now here. So definitely a bit of a step up here for the green team, of course, uh, going on the defensive side. One could argue. Defense, uh, a little more defensive favorite, especially on this map. I would think the three side map is potentially the only one that's not necessarily deep. It's a favorite, but who the fuck knows? No A action this round. Legolas. Okay, that's why she's going back there. She's actually launching her ultimate. You know, the rocket play doesn't find a kill, but Milkfat found one on Burrow. Milkfat's working to the B side, but a lot of mid action coming out, HJR. Not going to be part of it. Milk Fat 2.0. Right around the corner does he pick up on it. Waza's there. He hears a lot of footsteps. Oh, once the smoke goes down. Okay, on the other side! Saw the shoulder. Making the way to the B side. Sage is holding. Never mind. Added jerk gets picked off. So, Divalicious. It's going to be up to him and Mad Fred for the retake. Does have a grenade. Heard footsteps and finds Waza. The garage kill as well. Nice patience there. Mad Fred. He peeks around the corner, but cannot land the shots. And now it's a Diva 1 versus 3 situation. Make that 0 versus 3 as Muffins lands the, the scout. I don't know what the actual gun is called, honestly. I just call it scout. No, was that an op? I guess it was an operator. I thought that was the scout version. Anywho. Good win there for the red team. Finally stopping that momentum in the second half. Once again, you look at that middle of your screen right there. That was four wins in a row to start for the green team. Stopped uh, there in the fifth round. Muffins going to send that smoke out mid. Get out of my way. Jet is there on the other side. Milk Fat 2.0 has the daggers out. Going to get the booby bombs. Here's the footsteps. Can he be patient enough? No, he's going to go to the B side because calls are being made. Two have already been picked off, and they're running down Sage over there, it looks like. And yeah, Sage gets killed off, so Milk Fat has a chance now. Oh, he hit a couple, but no headshots. Watching the flank. Cypher with the bomb is, yeah, Muffins needs to get into the side. They've taken the side. Milk Fat 2.0 does eventually get picked off. And suddenly there was one, so <laughs> again, a case of probably best to save here if you're mad, Fred. And that's what it looks like he's going to do. He's going to hang out. 
Red team, they're going to win this round. And look at all the ultimates ready to go as well. Everyone but Raze currently has their ultimate ready. So this is uh, potentially... It's going to be difficult for the green team because I think their economy is also going to be ruined. Yeah, they definitely bought this round too. So the red side should uh, be in a good spot to take back. Cage about to trick, be nine cage to nine. Trick. Those cages being triggered. So I heard something about how Cypher, the the cage ability, the cyber cage, the reason why it's called cyber cage is because originally it actually, it literally trapped an enemy inside trick that smoke that it creates, the, the screen that it creates. So it's not, it used to, it wasn't only a vision blocker, but it also literally trapped them inside. So that utility is kind of cool. But I guess they found that to be too powerful or something. So instead, now it's just a smoke screen, which it's kind of unfortunate. It's a little repetitive. And something tells me they're going to definitely tweak that around. But for now, that's where it's at. Yes, this should go. Oh, this is a nice one. going down. Oh, he's going to have a buddy potentially this round. As HJR is making his way up with that Vandal. He peeks just in time right there. A lot of mid-action. Just like coming out, Muffin's peeking with that op. Sees the grenades coming through, jumping away, nice job. See, if you're gonna be peeking with the op like this, I would like for him to drop the spike on the ground behind him, but he's still around. Just saying. That would be the top tier play. No. Gonna take his way towards sewers, and this is a good decision because look at that A side. It is being left open. They're charging up the ramp. They charge right into Milk Fight 2.0. And they also find Diva. Able to get a kill first, but why are they not going A? Oh, wow. They're really wrapping around. Are you kidding me? Oh, <laughs> Waza just turns and kills Burrow. Okay, yeah. They are actually planting A, though, so I was curious on this one there. Oh, Madfred thought he had the kill. He turned away. Alas, he did not. Was that a res? Yeah, I believe Diva just got rezzed. I'm here resurrecting Diva. So it is a two versus four now. Heo comes out. Oh, can they save Diva? <laughs> He's down to 29 life. He's healing up. Oh, Brimstone! No helper! Oh, that was awkward. He's like, oh, hello. I'm gonna go this way. Legolas misses the arrow. Location's been revealed, and Muffins easy peasy. Oh, the quick scope! Muffins! Alright, that's why that's why he has the operator. Alright, so there's a 10 to 9. Once again, that round was being set up to look pretty good for them. And they only use the Hellfire ultimate. Everything else is still there. Waza one step closer to his. Nine. Ooh, Diva, the grenades got the kill. He went for the op pick and he ran right into nades. Milk Fat Moon. Okay, he's on. <laughs> he's confused for a second. He might have a chance, Nowhere though. Nowhere to run! Nope. I did your turn. Oh, the air Good line up there. Those aren't easy to hit, so it's definitely well played. Manfred using that camera. Looks like A is going to be the play. Burrow finally comes out, but nobody's here now. I'm going to try to get a boss. So there we go. Trap. He ran it with his knife. Yikes. Mad Fred gets picked off, and the bomb's going down. So, two versus four. Burrow does pick up the operator. And he has a jet teammate who needs to look left. Not fast enough. Bro, is, they're gonna peek here. They throw a shock arrow down. Do they actually go down the rope? Sage does. Gets greedy. So Ace is picked up. If he just teleports to the bomb and defuses it, that'd be amazing. Do it, Bro. Do it. Teleport to the bomb. It's not doing it. Ideally, gonna save his gun. It looks like. Yeah, picks up the op and. Uh oh, brimstone. Ooh, that's close. 
points. 11 to 9. So red team climbing back themselves and now win four in a row after giving up the first four of the half. Of course, you need 13 rounds in total to win. This. Gun situation looking pretty healthy on both sides. Divalicious does have an operator this time around. Yeah, like so, so like one key is milk fat 2.0 now. <laughs> Two key is diva. Yeah, it just it's so weird how it gets messed up like that. Anyways. Grenade's going out. It smoked off. Omen though. So Diva's not gonna risk hanging around instead. That's towards A. Gonna once again be a bit of a slow play round, however. They say that Burrow might have some action soon. Sees a lot of things being thrown down by Brimstone. From the stim deck. Oh, and the opera shot from Diva. Obviously, gave away a lot of information. That's all I was saying. He's not afraid to let them know what he's here. Uh oh, rocket, rocket. Oh, get the kill first. Waza couldn't get the rocket off. Oh, man, running right at Sage. And could not fire it. Milkfat 2.0 picks off Vesta and suddenly it's just Muffins with an op. 11 to 9. He has a... Okay, he's going to run into a camera though is the problem. Let's say he has a free plant, but he's got the camera now. His global TP is up, but I don't know what kind of play he can make with that. Ooh, Jet, look to your right. Nice shot, okay. If he teleports B now, that'd be amazing. Teleport B, do it, do it. Oh, he's not thinking about it. Oh! What a flick, but yeah, he's, he's running out of time. I mean, they shouldn't even try to chase him down at this point. I mean, I guess they could for after, but... Nice flick shot. But yeah, very worthy win there for the green team. 11 to 10. We got a close game once again. 33 kills from Delicious, by the way. Man, oh man. He once again has that op. He's also got his rocket ready to go. Four ultimates ready on that uh, green side. The resurrection, the only one that's not. They do have a res on the other side, though. Does he get the peak? He sends out the body's not being distracted, but the smoke gonna be an issue. Looks like they're thinking about going A. Smoke Fat brings the daggers out, heard them. Smoke goes down, they kill the camera. Smoke Fat 2.0 trying to figure out where to go with this. Spraying through the smoke. Medford got one. Blizz Milk Fat takes him out though. The dagger is able to cut down HJR. Four versus two. Waza, able to land a shot. He's got the bomb. Needs to get it down. Get protection. Cannot in time, though. Diva gets the pick first. And Iodinger can't win that battle, though. So now it's a one versus one. Omen's running over. Milkfat, he doesn't know where to go. Okay, he hears him. He hears him heaven. Is he going around? He is. He hears the guns being swapped around. He knows he's in here. He's going for the kill now for the spike play. Here we go. He finds a first and he hits the head. 12 to 10 red team around that wasn't set to be won. And let the tea bagging begin. Can't blame him on that one. He's got to feel good. Can the green team hold? Their buy situation, they are forcing everything. They got a couple of guardians. Diva does have a Vandal. He's had the hot hand. 35 kills. Yeah, they're just not giving him action, though, in the man. That's smart. <laughs> Meanwhile, Matt Fred, he is going to spray down Ace there. How are you going to quit and expect over? He ran out of bullets. He only gets the one. Milk Fat just looking across the CT spawn. Going to send smoke some smokes down. out. Diva there, sending in the robot. Bro got muffins. 
Kills the reveal, but Waza takes advantage. And this could be it. It's a three versus three, though, so still winnable for the green team. Gotta move quick. No ultimate Deploying online for the green team. Drone's gonna come out, Vesta. Playing it smart. We'll spot some information over here. Waza gets picked off. It's just up to Vesta. Can she hold? No, she cannot. They get there. Good retake, and the game continues. That is in time, right? Yeah, that's in time. 11 to 12, ladies and gentlemen. This is potentially our final round before overtime. I mean, it's our final round before overtime, no matter what. Boy. It's a whether or not it's overtime or not. You get the fucking point. 12 to 11, red team. You see the buys. Muffins again get his hands on that operator. There's a lot of econ on the red side, so they should be able to full buy plus armor everything. Ultimate status. Cypher is the only one with it on the green team. Of course, that reveals all the enemy's locations if they find a dead body. So we'll see if Mad Fred is able to make use of that. They're thinking A, though, once again. They have had success over here. So Phantom in the hands of Mad Fred. It's, it has this camera set up uh, in the A tower instead. Interesting there. Well, he's holding the side. He hears footsteps. So it's going down. Jet got a pick, but Vesta the, the response. So four versus four. The peak. Milk fat can't land the kill. Madford has to stand his ground. Another trade. Looking to take it. Stealing sight. Puts the smoke down. Muffins gonna set up with the operator angle. Waza plants the bomb. Where's Diva? Diva in heaven. Down to 80. Oh, fire in the hole. Waza has it active. Puts a rocket up there, but no one was there. Three versus two. Can they send it to overtime? Waza gets picked off. They likely can. Muffin so takes out Burrow. He's got that operator. The resurrection play. Don't don't worry about the bot. Don't get distracted. Diva with the peak. He is on fire. They call him Dylan. Dylan, 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 because he spits on fire. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to OT. What do you do? Do they try to go A once again? Diva's been playing mid. He's the hot hand, so possibly staying away from mid. Can you really rush B though? That doesn't seem like a great strategy. I think the red team needs to try to play this a little more patient once again. Oh, that's a wall. Oh, wait. Did Did he try to wall himself up there? I think he did, and it just got screwed up. That sucks. Because that's literally a, a useless ability now. Oh, Diva finds the pick. Oh, they, they try to take out Diva off the bat. I can respect that call, but almost nades himself. <laughs> That'd have been awkward. Burrow finds Milk Fat meanwhile, and now it's the five versus three. The red team, they're losing it. They are working A, though. Omen's here. Muffins. He hears the footsteps. He's being very patient about this. Now he's peeking out, and yes, he finds Adager. Vesta bringing the bomb sewer. Let me try to rotate Not all the way to B. Nice Not peek down. there, and now we're back to even. Three versus three. So they're defending the A side, but if you if you Revealing they gotta run towards B now. They're not take they're not going fast. They don't have all the information. If they just if they just jetted towards B, they could have definitely got a plant there. Gotta check Kevin. Diva gonna get a chance. Vesta looking left, looks right. Diva lining up the shot. I have the Jets spike. over there. Spikes picked up. They're making footsteps the other way. Oh, see Sage, but can't land the shots. However, Cypher finds Muffins coming in. And Milkfat 2.0 was picked off, but they ran out of time. That's it. That's the game. The green team's going to win. There's not enough time. Mad Fred might find a kill, but who the fuck cares? 13 to 12. The green team is victorious, and they 
clearly have the biggest dicks. I want to thank you for tuning in. This is Break CBK once again. Valorant event.